Welcome back to another top five tips. I'm Autumn, registered dietitian with RD Nutrition here in Red Deer. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my top five tips for intuitive eating during the holidays. So what is intuitive eating? It's listening to our bodies. It's eating and managing our food intuitively. So here is what I have to say about the holidays. So my number one tip, don't go into the holidays with all or none thinking. I think this is a very diet culture thing. Either we're on a diet or we're off of a diet. Well, that's not the case. We don't have to be. We're not zero or a hundred, black or white. Nutrition is gray and always should be. And our nutrition shouldn't be perfect. So how to overcome over uh, all or none thinking is to not treat it as oh well, this weekend I'm going to be drinking and I'm gonna be eating, so it doesn't matter what I have. We still want to be eating normally, like we should, as planned, so that we don't feel like we have this conflicting message in our head of either I'm gonna be good or I'm bad, because food does not give us any moral status. Number two, when you're at holiday, during the holidays, check in with your hunger. We should still be eating regularly and not missing out on some of, uh, not missing out on meals. When we sit down for our big meals, say turkey, dinner, uh, check in with yourself. Ask yourself, how hungry am I? How much should I be putting on my plate? Listen to your stomach and those cues. Then understand that even if you didn't take as much as you had hoped for or wanted, you can always go back for seconds. Check in with your hunger, check in with your fullness, see how you're feeling, see what your body is actually asking for. Number three, eat as you would any other day. So start your day off with breakfast, followed up by snacks, have a good lunch, all leading up to that meal that you're gonna be having either Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, it's important for us to maintain that schedule for our bodies. If we always think of it the opposite way of, well, I'm gonna save myself in order to eat this meal, it means that we're probably going into that meal starved. And this means that we're not listening to our bodies at all. Our bodies go into a primitive overdrive and it's gonna want carbs because carbs are our energy source. So by eating regularly, normal meals as you would throughout the day means that you're gonna walk into that meal time feeling good about the things that you choose. And that doesn't mean that you're gonna choose healthy things, it just means that you're level-headed in making your choices. Number four, challenge the food police. That means the food police in here and then the food police that's in our company. Set boundaries, not only for yourself, and say, hey, get out of my head. I don't need that diet culture talk inside of here. Or you can even talk to friends and family about the negative talk that they could be influencing either your decisions or the way that you feel. Set those boundaries. I know you can do it. Number five, S uh, holidays are for celebrating and we should really remember that it's about the celebration and food comes along with that. If we're anxious about joining a celebration because of the food choices, having too many desserts, too much alcohol, too many carbs, it means that we're now stressed out about even being there. And food is a cultural norm at a celebration. And it's about more than just fueling our bodies or if we're good or bad. I want you to take a step back and enjoy the company that you're in. If you have any questions about my top five tips for intuitive eating during the holidays, make sure to reach out to us at info at rdnutrition.ca or you can follow us on any one of our platforms, Instagram or Facebook. Talk to you later.